What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're gonna be checking out Ruiner, which is another yet another game that I got to play over at PAX. I actually got to hang out with the developers for a good hour or so and just kind of talk about the game. If you've never seen Ruiner before, it's a top-down brawler where it takes place in kind of a cyberpunkish, almost like Shadowrun universe, where everything is all teched out and you're killing people with like cyber blades. It, it should be an interesting experience. I've played probably the first hour of the game when I was at PAX East. And I'm excited to show it off to you. It's a game that's just dripping with style. And I think you're going to enjoy it. I think you're going to like it. So let's start off a new game. And then we'll go through on normal mode. There it is. Yeah, apparently I know what real fun is. In the year 2091, pervasive advancements in technology. Oh man, playing with people's lives has never been more fun. See, this is what I get for reading poorly. This is what I get. I'm pretty sure that guy knows Kung Fu now. Ooh, we got robot hand, bro. We got that we got that Deus we got that Deus X hand. Kill boss. Yeah, so the ultimate point of the game is to kill a guy named Boss, and they kind of they kind of explain what that means as you get further into the game. But for right now, it's just like, well, there's a guy, I guess I'm gonna kill him. Welcome to video game narratives. Alright, so I got my jumpsuit, I got my pumas, I got my members only jacket, and I've got my ski mask that takes downloads. We got this 321 all systems online. You are in heaven. You're here to kill the boss. They know you're here. Do what I say if you want to live. Now let's test out the controls. Oh shit, we got ourselves a pipe. Yup. And so the game controls with W, A, S, and D. Uh, let's see if we can, let's see here. Anything else down here? So apparently, I can look. Oh no, what does that mean? Attack with left mouse button. Oh, I'm gonna attack. This dude's gonna get smacked up. There we go. Can I take his sword? What if I want his sword? I wanted his sword, but I guess I'm not going to take his sword. Oh, we got dudes coming in. I know. Yep, there they are right there. Looking all spiffy like Tunnel Snakes rule. Let's have some fun, boys. Bring him down. They're going to say mean things about me. They're like, yo, yo mama look like Jabba the Hutt's knuckle. And I'm like, no, my soul is broken. I no longer wish to do battle with you. Yeah, see, I'm just going to swack you with a pipe. You guys got like fancy ninja swords. Katanas, as they are colloquially known. But, uh... I don't think it's going to help you, man. You guys got a lot of blood in you, too. Am I just going to keep using this pipe forever? What's this way? Do I want to go this way, or do I want to go... Please don't hurt me. All right, I'm going to be a nice guy. And because the lighting is so red in here, I can't murder when the room is so red. It bothers me. It irks me. It rubs me the wrong way. See, that guy told me to stay back. That was more of a command. At least the other person was polite about it. Please don't kill me. But if you just, like, don't kill me. Uh, we have a dash now. So there it is right there. You can use that to teleport, and I think it negates bullets or something like that. I don't recall exactly, but I remember it does something. I remember the developers being like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it allows us to essentially trigger things and then teleport away. And this is a game that's going to take you a considerable amount of reaction time. I don't know if teleporting through it worked, but it looked like it did, so I'll live with it. I don't want to die. Yeah, well, welcome to the way life works, man. We all on the way. Just gotta decide what vessel you want to take there. Like, you want to take the Bugatti, or you want to take the Cavalier, you feel me? Uh-oh. He shot a bullet at me. It's probably gonna sting my face. Oh, I'm gonna go. Let's, let's do this thing. And there it is right there. So the dash actually negates bullets. That's the mechanic that I remember. Is that if you can dash, you can actually get around bullets pretty easily. Alright, so we got enemies coming in. Got him, so that's one down right there. I'm gonna get rid of both of those guys with a quick swipe. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you out too, just in case. I don't know, you seem dangerous to me. You've got a firearm. These guys have terrible reaction speed, so I'm not really that worried about swacking them with a pipe. It seems to be fairly simple in order to get it done. What's up, guys? You wanna you wanna exit the building the way that there we go. I got two with one swipe right there because I'm all about economy. It's like the coupon version of killing. What's that right there? Is that like a health slot? Yes, thank you for reminding me. I, I'm aware of my objectives. I don't have the attention span of a three-year-old. We'll be good. It's just this guy seems to be riding me on this. Ooh, we got an energy meter. What does an energy meter do? It powers your skills and your gadgets. Open your radio menu with ALT. Ooh, I can do like an energy shield? Yay! Now I've got an energy shield. So it's the space bar. I'm going to duck back up in here. 
I'm assuming that thing's gonna shoot at me at some point. It said there was an energy turret down here. Yeah, there it is. They seem kind of grumpy and modular, but I'm sure it'll be okay. Let's do this thing. Energy shield. So does my battery recharge? I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna recharge it. See, so even if it doesn't recharge... There we go. So you gotta have those technological advances or otherwise it's just not... Oh, shit. Um, are they gonna have to reload at some point? There we go. Can I kill them? Oh, I can't kill the turrets and then rip their heads off and wear them like shoulder pads and fire missiles at guys. Alright, never mind then. Maybe it was just a childish fantasy. I'm nobody. Oh, don't say that. You're somebody, man. You've got a name and everything. I work. I know you work for like an evil mega conglomerate, but like it's not your fault though. It's not your fault. Oh, there's a door over here. Let's go through that. No? There's a door over here. Let's go through that. Yay! Open! Open for business. Let's continue down this way and see what we got going on. Waste all enemies. Oh, well, you know what they say. Um, I don't know if I'm okay. Ooh, energy. Hell yeah. So you guys got to go down like now. That guy's got like a machine gun, so I'm going to get rid of him real quick. Like a sub machine gun, which is really just a sub that was built on a sub. It's a machine gun that was built on a sub. That's pretty much all it has going for it. They tend to be Russian in manufacturing. Ow, I've been struck with a bullet. I'm still alive though, so that's good. I'm going to try and get the pistol guys first from now on. They seem to be the most dangerous. So far, my limited science has taught me that they're the only ones that can land hits. Oh, they're coming from both ways now. All right. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to get you, too. I'm wounded, though. I got a bullet hole in me. I think I should probably fix that, right? Like, I don't know, some sutures, maybe a Band-Aid, a stick of gum. I don't know. Chew it up, stick it in the hole. It'll probably be fine. The Ruiner Pistol. What does a Ruiner Pistol do? Scroll with the mouse wheel to swap between melee and guns. Okay, and that can be done on the fly. So do I have, like, limited bullets? Or do I get to reload just, like, endlessly? God, I hope to... I, I really hope I get to reload, like, endlessly. Oh, no. These cats are on me now. These cats are on me now. They want to know me. Anybody else? Who wants to get some? I'm going to focus on the dudes with guns first. Yup, send some bullets down range. Get this thing going. Oh, get it cracking. What's this guy got? A pay 12? I guess we'll pay to win for a little bit. Ooh, my bullet bounced off a guy and killed a guy, but then this guy dropped a... Is that a grenade launcher? I don't know. It looked like it had a grenade launcher on it for a minute. Either way, we got a badass future-looking gun, so... I think our lives are about to get a little bit easier. Multi-dash? No. Hold right mouse button. Oh, so I can be like, uh, choo, choo, choo. Okay, I see it now. That'll be pretty cool. So I can go there, there, and then there is what they wanted me to do. Done. When do I get to machine gun some more guys? I'm actually pretty excited about the prospect. Let's machine some guys. Let's do it. I will kill boss, but you got to give me more people to shoot first so that I can actually enjoy myself here. Let's, let's shoot some guys. Uh, where am I going? Oh, yeah, there's a door over here that says open. Gotcha. I get lost a lot easier than normal people do. I won't say a word. Ooh, what is that? Is that like an energy thrower? So dash to the spotlight. Pick up the weapon. And then dash to safety. Where is safety at? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's a big badass gun right here. This gun's got a little bit of meat to it. Wait, did it swap me out of my awesome gun? I want that gun right there. I'm going to kill both these guys with the pistols. You better believe it. Oh, my God. This is turning into the Matrix. Where can't anybody hit each other? Oh, it looks like you actually... I think only pistols maybe have reloads. Oh, no. Pistols don't have reloads either. Okay, so all guns are temporary except for the Ruiner. If you have the Ruiner, you're good to go. It's just all other guns are... I'm going to take this guy's Glock maybe. Actually, all these guns kind of suck, and they're out of bullets. I guess I'll take the Glock, which has, like, four shots left. An arena. All right, I'm going to pick this up, and where are my enemies at? Got to put rounds on them. Got to put rounds on them. I got bouncy bullets, though. They're the fun... Oh, I reduced that guy to a pelvis. Rough day for him. I'll be a little bit upset if I went to work one day and ended up a pelvis. 
There we go. Ooh. I killed so good that I got a gif. Yay. You ever kill so good you got a gif? I don't know. There we go. Take care of that guy. My health is kind of low. I don't know how I feel about this. I got a little bit back right there, though. I don't think I want to pipe any kids right now. I don't think I want to, like... I don't... Ow, that guy shot me right in my dome. Um... Ow, that guy shot me too. Damn. Everybody up in here is better at this than me. This is slightly worse. There's health over here, though. There's health over here, though. That guy's got a shotgun. Nope. I cannot allow this to happen. Give me all of your health pickups and give me that Taz 8. Oh, my God. We've got a shotgun now. That's a beefy-ass shotgun right there, too. That's like a that's like a Warhammer 40k shotgun. That thing is huge. I would love to have my health back. That sounds fantastic. I should probably also remember that I have an energy shield, which I have not been using. I've just been soaking hits to my face. I don't know. Do it like Mama told you, you know? What is that? An AT Fusion Max? Oh, it's like an energy shotgun. Okay. Oh, shit. It reduced that guy to nothingness. There we go. Ooh, it dropped another one for me, too, just in case you're into shotguns. Oh, shnikes. Who just shot at me? Oh, it's a landmine. I didn't see the landmines dropping from the ceiling. There we go. Drop that guy. Grab that gun right there. Uh. Oh, my God. There are so many bullets flying around right now. Let me get some health back. Let me get some health back. Oh, I'm about to die. I know it. I can feel it. I can feel it in the air. I can feel that I'm... Oh, there's a shotgun. That might... Ch Our survival chances might get better if we can stick to the shotgun. There we go. Dodge some... Oh, he's still up? Man, you guys are resilient. If I took a shotgun blast of that caliber, I don't think I'd be walking it off. But you guys... Don't kill boss? But you just told me to kill boss. My little robot pea brain murderous tendencies are all confused now. Uh-oh. I don't know if that went well right there, but hell, I'm going to say that it did. This guy's got a Nipsey Cobra. I sound like a rapper name. I'm going to take Nipsey Cobra. Ooh, free health. Yay, I like health. Oodly doodly doodly. Oh. There's a weapon locker? What can I get out of it? A Taz 8? I'll take that instead of the Nipsey Cobra. I definitely like the Taz 8 better than Nipsey. This thing puts people away. They call this thing the USB drive. Call this gun the thumb drive because it stores things away. Can I blow those up? They're red. And video game knowledge has taught me that if something is red. Hey, 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 hey. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. Give me a give me a Nipsey Cobra over here. Yeah, there we go. Dude, these guys are getting like disordered. These guys are getting really kind of discordant amounts of guns right now. It's starting to worry me. That guy is dead. Uh, I tried to do the teleport thing, but unfortunately it didn't take. Scrub status, man. Sometimes you're the champ, sometimes you're the scrub. Apparently I'm supposed to be waking up right now. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. Uh, is there a health pad? Yeah, buddy, let me get that health pad, though. All better. I have successfully padded my health. Oh, something bad's gonna happen in this room, I know it. You don't keep, like, friendly things behind big-ass doors like that. Well, you guys all got, like, 1960s military guy hair. Sometimes life can be so simple. You want to kill my boss, and I'm here to make sure you don't. That's all there is to this, really. Everything as it should be. And I'll drink to that when we're done. Get him, boys. You gotta make him sound nonchalant, because I don't feel like a guy like him gives a shit. Zero hour. Boss waits behind the door. I'm setting a timer. You die when it reaches zero. Kill enemies, it delays the inevitable. Fight as fast as you can if you want to live. Oh man. Why well, you gotta make it complicated, though? Oh, that's not good. I think they got killed by their own dude. I'm gonna grab whatever this is over here. Oh, that guy's got an energy shield, though. All right, got some more guns. I need some more guns. Let me get a gun over here. All right, shieldy. Oh, man, he's got health on him, though. That dude's got health stacks for a minute. I'm gonna put up a shield real fast. 
There we go. He's down. I need like a new gun. There we go. So it's Chief Wadayama. Um, I'm pretty sure I pressed space bar right there. Does the shield only hold for like a minute? All right, we're back up and in this. It's okay. Everything's going to be fine. Don't worry. Let's see if I can drop some cats over here. Oh, he's got a shotgun now. That's never a good thing. I'm going to teleport over to here and grab that. And then I'm going to teleport away because I'm a bamf. I'm a bamf, though. This guy's kind of tough. This dude's being a little bit upsetting. There we go. Another five seconds for another murder. Let me grab a gun over here. Oh, there's new kids. New kids on the block. Had a bunch of hits. Chinese food makes me sick. And I think it's fly when girls stop by for the summer. For the summer. God, I forgot about that song until my brain referenced it. These things happen every time. Uh, yeah, let's... So why is my shield not staying active here? Oh, it stops if it gets hit. Okay, that makes more sense. I thought it was going to hold. This guy's got, like, serious health pool. This is concerning. wonder if I should, like, get after him. Oh, you can't shoot out of the shield. I see the difference now. Okay. That makes it slightly less useful for the things that I want to do. There's another gun over here, and I feel like it's going to be helpful to our long-term survival. So are there no more dudes? Oh, they're all right there. The ones shooting me in the face. Those are the new dudes. Gotcha. I was just trying to make sure I wasn't being serious about the situation. All right, so let's do this thing. I think it's probably a good idea that I go... Oh, that's the boss right there. Okay. This situation would be a lot more manageable if I had a gun that was capable of penetrating a human body. Somehow he miraculously got that shot off. I don't know how that worked. Uh, let's just stay mobile for right now. Maybe that's the secret. Let me see if maybe, like, mobility is the way we're going to make this happen. I'm pretty sure he just threw an energy grenade at me, which is very unkind. Um, I'm going to have to kill a guy because I need some more time. Let me see if I can teleport around a little bit. Get rid of that cat. Get rid of that cat. We are draining time, however, ever so slowly. It actually looks like the Ruiner hurts him more than other guns do. Yeah. So maybe we want to stick with the Ruiner for right now because the Ruiner actually seems to be doing work. Like, all the other guns don't seem like they hurt him that much, but the Ruiner, it was putting it... Ooh, an AT Fusion Max. Hell yeah, I want an AT Fusion Max. Give me that thing. So, bonus karma, apparently. 250. I guess we're using the same currency system as Shadowrun. Got ourselves a little bit of karma. I'm sure it's going to be allowed to make me upgrade some stuff. What's inside boss's location over here? Dude, I just hacked with the palm of my hand. I said, Judo, hack! Mm. Door was booby trapped. It was booby. It was booby trapped. The essence of the booby was inside of it. Holy shit! Not too late, am I? You all right? What's up, Nelly? You got that band-aid under your eye? I've been trying to reach you. Somebody hacked your damn brain. This is a setup. They sent you to assassinate the boss of heaven. But there's more bad news. They took your brother to make sure that you do the job. That means they'll kill him unless we get him back first, so get out of here. Fast. Head to Rancock South, and I'll contact you there. Dude, I killed 126 people? Oh my good sweet lord. Oh, I got a C plus, man. This is like high school all over again. God damn it. See, this is what's bad, man. When you put a letter grade on my performance, it makes me feel like I'm lesser as a human being. It just saddens me.
That doesn't seem like the kind of neighborhood you want to take a nap in. I'm just making a casual observation, but like... There's neighborhoods you can take a nap in, and there's neighborhoods you can't take a nap in. And I really think most neighborhoods are divided into those two different categories. What do we have here? An early Christmas present? You're in bad shape, boy. In need of a few parts. I like how he had a Steam reference on his jacket. It made me happy. It shouldn't, but for some reason it made me happy. Rancock South, where we hid after that shit show in heaven. Not a great place, but there are good people here. Good for us, anyways. Still alive, I see. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't brought you back myself. Remember anything at all? How you got here? Yeah. Whatever happened, it left you a mess, boy. I fished you out of the gutter with one arm gone and blood and wiring everywhere. That mask of yours was going all kinds of haywire. Normally, I would have scrapped you for parts. I helped you only because she asked me to, although ass doesn't exactly cut it. I put your faceplate back together with spit and glue and bubblegum, and I've installed a new arm. Took some doing. Your hardware is older than dirt. I also fixed you a new citizenship. Thought you might need a fresh start. Now you can earn your karma back and become a legal customer. Kinda. Let me show you how that works. So we've got skill points. We can get abilities and upgrades. We've also got... Okay, so abilities are unlocked as your karma level increases. Activate them with skill points. Swap between. Okay. And then we've also got... You can learn about upgrades over there. You can also see it in action. Hooray! Each ability can be further developed with upgrades. They require skill points. Remember, you can deactivate any ability or upgrade. Use retrieve skill points to activate different ones. You can manage your skills from anywhere. Just hit Y. You have a bunch of skill points, so go ahead and use them. Alright, so we got an upgrade for our energy shield that deflects projectiles. So we can actually kill people. We can also get our dash. And so while dashing, you receive 60% less damage. I'm going to take that one. I think, right? Wait, what happened right there? Oh, I've got to rebuy my skills. Okay, and so we can do a power attack too. I'm going to go for the upgraded dash, I guess. Because I wasn't even using the shield anyways. Because you can't shoot out of your shield. Your shield goes down if you fire out of it. And so, I think you can actually use melee weapons inside of your shield, but that's going to be something that we have to test for later. I'm not going to be able to uh, test that right now. You're in Rancock South now, the bottom of the bottom. Trouble's going to find you soon enough, unless you find it first. Why is that samurai stabbing a fish? Makes you kind of raise the question, what did that fish do to him? There you are. We gotta move fast if we want to save your brother. I combed through the shit left in your head from the hack and found a clue. A heaven staffer, codenamed Wizard. I traced his signal to Rancock South where his trail cuts off. There's his ex-cop, Rustum. Uh, he's glued to a stool at the Vostok bar. He's well connected for a drunk. If Wizard's in town, Rustum will know where he is, so let's go talk to him. Remember, you can hit tab if you get lost or confused. Good luck, have fun. Alright. Sounds good to me. Can I change, like, the design on my mask? Like, how do I decide what goes on my mask? Like, what if I wanted to put, like, I don't know. What if I wanted to put, like, dick butt on my mask? You know, or, like, meat spin on my mask. Just to, just to troll people a little bit while I'm running around. Make people be like, ah, WTF, you know? Does this guy talk? Every revolution needs its hairstyle. I am unfoolable. You know, I, I feel like people that make declarations like that are always the easiest to fool. Hun, can't you see we're talking? Mm. This is a major outage. Alright, so I'm supposed to be going talk to Rustum at the Vostok bar. Well, I mean, I know what I'm supposed to be. Do I have a map or anything? Like, where is the infocom? There we go. So you are here. The Vostok bar is going to be to our left on this street over here. So let's go have a look. We'll see if we can get over there and handle our business. Vostok bar? Hey, there it is. What's your deal? You gonna say anything? Oh, there's Rustum right there. You wear that mask to hide an ugly fucking mug or something even worse. Is that face display supposed to impress me? I know what you want, or who to be more specific. Wizard calls himself a tech specialist. I'm guessing you're gonna call him your next victim. 
He's been hanging with a local gang called the Creeps. They make people disappear, and last I heard, they got him holed up in an underground parking garage. If you're looking to make a little extra karma, you'll find a few other most wanted types there, too. They each got a price on their heads. So you do want to take out the wanted men in the parking garage for me. Yeah, I'll do it. Alright then, I'll collect the karma bounty from my buddies on the force and split it with you. You can transmit it right from here so I don't have to see you and you don't have to see me. Alright, Vamos, keep it between us. Nobody likes a tattletale. And with that, we're going to call our day to a close here with Ruiner. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the first episode in our coverage of Ruiner, which is a top-down brawler slash cyberpunk shooter with all kinds of random stuff going on. I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. I did like this game when I played it at PAX, although it was on a difficulty up when I played it at PAX. They had it on, like, max difficulty on the demo. It was really, really tough even to get through the tutorial. It took me the better part of 30 minutes to beat the tutorial on the highest difficulty. And so anyways, uh, check the game out down below in the description if you wanted to get it for yourself. If you wanted to see more of the games I play here on the channel, you can see that on the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash splattercatgaming. Stop on by. I stream every single day at 3 p.m. on. I'll see y'all later. Hi, do everybody, and thanks for stopping on in.